This is People's Group Exhibit D1. Could you tell the judge what we're looking at here? This is the actual outside of the residence if you're on the street facing the house. Judge, can you see the pictures okay? I can. All right, what are we looking at here? This is, for the record, People's Group Exhibit D2. This is the one-car garage detached from the house. Okay. People's Group uh, Exhibit D3, what is this? This is the back of the house, backyard. All the uh, the blue tarps and bags is more a pile of garbage that was behind the one-car garage. It's actually a love seat, kind of like behind the garage with a blanket tarp over it that you could not see from the uh, naked eye. This is People's uh, Group Exhibit uh, D4. What are we looking at here? Just piles of garbage that was in the backyard on top of the pile. And this was in the backyard? In the backyard. Okay. All right. And now we're at People's Exhibit Group D4. Five. Based on your training experience, you recognize what those are? Yes. Okay, what are they? Those are spent uh, used syringes. And could those be used for heroin injection? Yes. All right, and did you find these on April 18th of 2019 at the residence? Yes, I found those outside and on the, uh, the couch behind the one-car garage that were scattered throughout. Thank you. All right, this is People's D6, and Officer Berg, could you tell the judge what you see here? This is the kitchen the main point of entry from the side door. When you walk in the side door, the kitchen's there. The flooring, as you can see, the subfloor was exposed. The ceiling had damage to it. The countertops were, were covered with debris and just, there's no counter space at all. There's, this is the part of the ceiling that had water damage? Yeah, there's a hole there, as you can see. And then the floor drew my attention initially because the subfloor is totally exposed to it. And this is, is this the subfloor, this brown area? Correct. All right, people's D7, what is, what is this? That's the hallway off the kitchen that leads to the up dining room area. Thank you. What are we looking at here, is this D8? That's their dining room, it's more towards the front of the house, big enough for a dining room table, more or less, from front mm -hmm. to back. Okay. D9, is this more dining room? Yeah, another angle of it. And this, this is an accurate depiction of what the condition of the house was in, in terms of the clutter? Yes. Okay, and what did it smell like in the dining room? Same thing, stale odor, there was dog in there, you could smell, just overwhelmed with how it smelled and how the condition of the house was. Thank you. People's D10. That's another angle of the same room, the flooring and just clutter out just randomly. D11. That was burnt papers that we found and a bunch of shoes and socks just strung on the floor in no random order. Is this also the dining room? Yes. Thank you. D12. Also, the dining room, pile of just random shoes, all sizes, all shapes. Okay. Thank you, officer. This is D13, officer, what do you see here? This is the fireplace that was in the family room, also off the kitchen. There's the same thing, clutter and toys and so forth. Okay, it looks like there's some burn damage above the fireplace here as well. Yes. D14. Same family room, different angle, off the kitchen. You see the kitchen flooring leads into here. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. D15? This was a storage bench they had towards the back of the house on the family room. And it was also covered, the doors were covered in, in streaks and smudge and smear and like dog scratches all throughout the cupboards. All right, and did you try to get back into those cupboards? Yeah, we searched Why? the cupboards looking for AJ because the small child we assumed might be hiding there, overlooked, so we searched extensively in the, in the whole house. And could you tell the judge whether or not it was difficult to get back to those cupboards? It was very difficult. The toys and the furniture were blocking some of the doors No, as far as access to it. It was hard to get into it. D16, what are you looking at here? Same family room. As you can see, the storage bench goes the entire length of the family room uh -huh. and the whole thing was searched, the, the curio cabinet behind it and nothing. Okay. E17? That's their dog that was in the cage. There was either urine or water that was strewn out on the floor. I didn't know what it was. Is this the area that you're looking at under the Yeah, cage? by the cage there. Okay. The 18 These are the stairs leading down to the basement. Now, what is this? This is the basement. All right, and tell the judge your impression of the basement. What did it smell like? What did it feel like? In one word, filth. Uh, again, I was over overwhelmed by the condition. The floor was dirty. 
sticky. There was bags thrown out everywhere. We were there was mice droppings. There was cockroaches. We had to tear bags and search in the, the basement thoroughly. We saw bugs running around and tons of mice droppings. Is the other room in the basement? Yes, this was this is D twenty orders. for the record. I apologize, Jeff. This is D twenty one. Is that just the same room? Same room. All right, and all of this is what. All just piles of clutter and garbage and debris they had stored down there. So we had to search through all that initially because due to AJ, of course, being a, you know, a small child, we had to really dig in there for things, just garbage. D22, what are we looking at here? Same thing, there's a, a fly tape on the wall, a little mattress, and just tons of just garbage, just really more or less just random things of just storage, I guess. Okay, thank you, officer. This is D23. What is this? These are the stairs leading up to the to the bedrooms. Okay. Now, uh, this is D24. Is this one of the bedrooms? Yes. Okay, and based on your investigation, whose uh, bedroom was this? Miss Cunningham's. Okay. This is D25. Was this one of the other bedrooms? Yes. Okay, and based on your investigation, do you know whose bedroom this was? That was Drew's. Drew's friend. What are we looking at here? It's D twenty six. That's the same same bedroom. That's Drew's a gallon of uh, milk jug or something. I'm not sure if that was urine or what that is. The funnel attached to it. I have no idea what that was. What was the color of that substance? That was a yellowish urine looking color. Okay. D twenty seven. What is this? This is the outside to uh, AJ's room. And D28. What That's is a, a chain lock with a padlock attached to the outside of the door frame that would prevent him from exiting the door, the room. D29, is that the slide as well as the chain lock? Correct. Outside of AJ's room? Yes. D30, just take a picture of the slide? Exactly. D31, what are we looking at here? This is the interior of the room looking out into the hallway of AJ's room. D32. That's his uh, bed, crib, makeshift bed. That was, I think, a crib converted into a bed for, for him. Okay. D33. Can you tell the judge what this is, please? That's the same picture, just an overall from the window, looking at his, from south to north, more or less, of his crib. All right, so this is D34. This is a picture of the windows in AJ's room? Correct. Okay, and then D35, what's this? That's also, they had a padlock, combination lock on his, on his closet and bedroom. Okay, so there's a padlock on his closet. Is the padlock on the inside or outside of the door? That's on the outside. Okay. So you lock somebody in from the outside? Yeah, that's my, my perception of it myself. Objection, asking to speculate. What's wrong? Next question, please. Thank you, Judge. D36. That's the window in AJ's bedroom. D37. That was some kind of a toilet they had in the room. Uh, I'm not sure really what that was in there. Okay, and this is D38. What, what is this a picture of? This is the, his window in his bedroom. Okay, and this device right there, what is that? What is that? Well, they had screws, and they also had a, a metal hook that would prevent the window from being lifted upward. Okay, was that on both windows? On both sides. Okay, People's Group Exhibit uh, D40. Would you please tell the judge what we're looking at here? That's the bathroom upstairs. All right, D41. Same thing, more bathroom picture. Okay. Okay, D42, please. Would you tell the judge what that is? That's the uh, upstairs bathtub, which is, again, in total, you know, unkept, very, very uh, filthy, not, not clean at all. And is this a fair and accurate depiction of the shower head in the upstairs bathroom? Yes. D43, is that another picture of the bathroom and the shower head? Correct, had damage to it and a plunger in the, in the tub and so forth. And D44, what is that? That's the actual bathtub with the plunger and an extension of the water hose. Thank you.
Did you, did you want anything to drink? Like water or something? Hot. Thank you. Um, yeah. I, it's... One, one second. Off, you can uh, move if you'd like to see it. Thank you. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. Are, 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 are his shoes still in the house? Well, they have 
a hundred pairs of shoes when I look through them. And... Does he have a favorite pair that he wears? No, not really. No. Can you say for sure that he didn't take any shoes with him, or is it possible he did? I think he did. I think he took his Ninja Turtle ones, because sometimes the boys get matching sets of shoes. And the only ones I could find, one of Parker's little, you know, his, but AJ's two I couldn't find. And I do think it's strange that he didn't bring his jacket, because he's anal retentive. He's smarter than most adults I know. Okay. So, I don't know if he brought a hoodie. I don't know. Right, nobody expects you to. If anything, I think that he, like, just, like, you know, probably went to be an adult and walked out, and then got lost. I'm wondering why nobody's called him in. I know, he knows his address. I know. Does he know his name? Yes, he's very, he knows Spanish, I'm telling you. Does he know his phone number? I don't think so. I asked you. See, the problem is that any good citizen I know has found a five-year-old and knows how I would hope to God would be calling the police saying I just found a kid. Exactly, that's why I'm so worried. Okay. And there's so many creeps out there, you know, like, oh my God. I hope he's safe. He's got to be so scared. Well, we're doing everything we can to find him. And I don't, you know, the only thing I can think of is he thinks he's going to get in trouble. And, you know. Where could he hide? He's fine. He's, trust me, he's like a little adult. I understand. That's what I thought he was doing. It was like, jump, like, you know, moving around. Because when we were outside, even, like, the gate fell in the backyard. The officers were, and I ran, like, to the backyard. But obviously he wasn't there. But that's what I thought he was doing. I kept saying, you know, AJ, you're not going to get in trouble. Right, 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 right. Okay. Anything else? And I can But for my, my sake, of, you had nothing to do with this, correct? Absolutely not, no. Okay. Okay. We're getting flashlights. Okay. Is anyone at the house in case he comes home? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, good. I hope he's safe. I hope he's safe. I hope he's going to get me so scared. He's going to dad or he thinks he's going to get grounded. Can I get you anything?
I'm telling you. A laundry basket with little boy clothes in it. That's cool. That, that's very cool. I don't know if we have my helmet. Good for them. I don't care a chopper anymore. Chopper left during the good stuff. Yeah, I might as well wait to do my teas because, like, it's gonna look stupid, right? That is it. <laughs> yeah, um, it, won't, it won't. Well, it's gonna be gone. I could just pan the camera this way. I would do that. Just so you don't see the house. Yeah. Let's just wait five minutes. It's fine.
Thank <laughs> you. 